All right, welcome everybody. This is Kevin LaRocca. This is going to be our weekly recap for the week ending on March 12th, 2021. But before we get into uh, looking at our weekly stats and seeing how the chat room did, let's talk about a special event we have coming up this week. It's going to be Thursday night. It's going to be our first ever, uh, and hopefully it's not going to be the last, but we're going to have a first ever live Q&A session. So if you've been watching us for a while, thinking about joining us, it's going to be your opportunity to um, to ask me some questions. You're going to have the opportunity to ask some of my uh, existing students. Some have been with me for a while. Some are just starting up. So you're not just going to hear it from me. You can hear it from them to see what they think and how they've been doing with my uh, strategies and my methods. Uh, also, um, we also want to get into... Uh, a little bit about uh, what it takes to be successful trading Nadex binary options, okay? There's some things that, whether you're trading my method or you're trading um, your own particular method, I think we can give you some pointers um, that are going to help you become a more profitable trader. Uh, but nonetheless, we are soliciting questions. We would like to get those questions up front, and we'll take the most popular ones, and we'll go ahead and address those first, and we'll open up um uh live to everybody that participates and see if we can't uh, answer some additional questions we are going to be limited to uh, 45 minutes so by you submitting your questions now uh we can go ahead and, and knock the the most popular ones out of the way and then we'll open up the room for um for the remainder of the time so you can ask myself and my students uh questions you have about my program okay so let's get started let's take a look and see how we did this week in chat all right so let's take a look at the uh the naked stats for this week uh in the chat room once again naked stats mean i'm not using any kind of filters basically what i'm doing is i'm every time a buyer sell uh pattern is set up if you were to blindly buy that particular pattern or sell that particular pattern based on the core strategy rules these are the percentages of wins and losses that you would have received so right out the gate as you can see We'll put in the odds in your favor you can improve on that by using some additional filters but the point is is that we're going to start off and we're going to put the odds in your favor and that's a big step forward when it comes to trading okay these stats hold up will continue to hold up uh, don't expect them to to ever change because of the way that these patterns are designed okay that's very important when it comes to trading all right you want to trade something that's not only uh, uh has held up and will continue to hold hold up been doing this for 40 years don't expect all of a sudden for everything to stop working okay it's just the only way that would ever happen is for some reason they shut the exchange down besides that yeah these patterns i see them in stocks i see them in commodities uh i see them everywhere all right so that being said first trade wins okay man had 100 percent this week 80 percent in the evening okay let me explain this that is the first trade that i take coming into morning i start my days at uh 8 a.m we're looking at the first core trade out of these four so whatever that first core strategy trade is after 8 a.m that's the one that i'm showing here whether it was a winner and or a loser and the reason i'm showing that is because one of the things that we teach you is one of the best times to hit a daily objective is the first thing in the morning and then uh then we talk about there are other time frames that you want to be trading and then there's some you want to be more cautious to stand on the side but one of the things i can tell you is markers are really hot in the morning so uh you come in the day with a set objective all right you hit that objective and then you step aside uh you walk away from your real account and you start practicing with demo that's what we suggest anyway very high win rate obviously on that first uh trade of the day uh if you can see the stats once again as we would expect we're still sitting in the 70s uh, for most of these patterns the ones that i've continued to focus on 
has been the Aussie and the yen this week. I'll continue even though the euro had a really strong week percentage wise. I'm still going to be focusing. I'm sorry on the euro. I haven't been focused on the Aussie. I have been focused on the euro and the yen this week. So as you can see, it used to be the Aussie up until several weeks ago. Now I'm focused more on the euro, but I have been on the yen for some time and I'll continue to stay with those two pairs. Don't do a lot of trading in the pound. And right now, very limited on the Aussie US when it comes to the core strategy. When we're talking about the crystal ball strategy, it's totally different. I can trade anything across the board with crystal ball. But when we're talking about the core strategy, uh, I do recommend trading no more than two. Typically going to go to two strongest. Right now, that's going to be the yen and that's going to be the Aussie US. So you can still see that we're hitting at, uh, in the mornings, we're hitting at 72%. On the euro, 81% in the evening, and then, of course, 78 and 76% on the end. Folks, I'm telling you, that is incredible, considering that these are naked stats. No filterations, just the pattern themselves. All right? So, that being said, uh, let's take a look at CB trades. I had one of my better CB trades this week. I did get a little bit more aggressive because of the nature of the way that we trade CB. Once again, CB is really designed to be for those traders that are serious about making a career out of trading, okay? Um, and you cannot become a CB trader unless you master core first. There's reasons for that. But once you master core, then you can step into CB. The difference is CB allows me to trade deep out of the money. And uh, there are certain uh, setups during the day they give me an indication that I'm going to have a large move and I am going to take those deep out of the money because now I can sell it for $80, $90 and with very little risk. So what do we know about very little risk? We want to put on more size, right? So you can make some, you can have some incredible returns when you can go deep out of the money and you can sell it when you're selling it, you know, 80, 85, $90 risking, you know, 15, $10, um, you can do a lot with putting on some size in those trades. Once again, only available to those that have already mastered the core strategy, okay? So, once again, really good week, CB. I know most of my stu students had an outstanding week. I'm starting to see a lot of my students profit and becoming profitable every single day. And that's what we want to see. The key is we want to make you profitable every single day. Uh, and only then and only then are you ready to go and start looking at this, getting into it full time. But you want to practice, practice, practice. You want to be able to do it full time. You want to be able to hit every single day, being profitable first in a demo account. And then once you hit, once you become profitable in a demo account and you can be consistently profitable, then you're ready to start trading live. But at that point, you're still taking baby steps. You're not over committing. You're got, not going for big objectives. You're going to have small objectives and then you're going to work your way up um, and in a slow pace. All right. This is not a sprint, folks. This is a marathon, right? Trading is not something where you're going to come in and expect that you're going to make a million dollars overnight. It takes time and experience. OK, and it's not easy. Most people don't want to put in the time and experience, but I can tell you. Those that have are successful. Those that want to treat it like a hobby, then those are the kind of results you're going to get. All right. Just like anything else. That being said, I'm expecting um, this to be another really strong week. I typically, when things start heating up like this, and I see it a lot more in my CB trades, it tells me that we're getting ready to go into some really, really good trading opportunities. So um, this is a good time to start. But if you would like to join us, once again, please join us this coming Thursday. And uh, please send me your questions, all right? There is a link, okay? If you're watching this video, go to binaryprostrategies.com and uh, where it's under contact us. Shoot me your questions. You can do it that way. If you're on my email list, you are going to get an email that has a link there. You can click on that and shoot me your questions that way. All right. But the more questions we have, uh, I think the better it's going to be for everybody that attends. Okay. So, so please send me those questions. We'll get to the ones that seem to have the biggest interest. 
and then we'll open up the room uh, at the end and uh, see if we can get some additional specific uh, or not specific but some additional questions all right once again we're not going to go into specifics on the strategies but we can give you some general ideas on uh, on how you can make your trading better and what you would expect once you join us that's it i hope everybody have a really great trading week as always you can always get a hold of me by going to binary ProStrategies.com. Shoot me an email. I'll be glad to answer those for you. Besides that, everybody have a great trading week, and we'll see you at the next weekly recap.